Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. There are many unusual animals in the ocean depths, including sharks that date back millions of years and squid that resemble birds. Today, let's talk about the Mariana Trench, the deepest trench on the planet, with so many abnormal occurrences that have left so many people with unanswered questions. Care to find out what to expect in these dark waters? Here's what they captured in the Mariana Trench that surprised the whole world. Number 1. 60-Foot Shark The Meg I'm pretty sure that everyone has watched this movie. As much as the whole thing was fictional, I think the author already knew it existed, in the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench. There are black sea devils, the zombie worms, and something else. Perhaps it's something bigger, a megalodon, or it just fits perfectly into the puzzle. On second thought, it's not possible, because this deadly predator has been thought to be extinct for over 3.5 million years. We could say that it's the Great White Shark, but according to research, the Great White Shark can't survive the pressure deep in the Mariana Trench. Perhaps the Megalodon exists after all. Number 2. Green Eye Squid Squids have been in existence for so long that the masses have become used to seeing them. However, some squids have never been thought to be real. I'm talking about the green-eyed squid. Maybe it's because no one's ever seen anything like it until now. The green-eyed squid is a terrifying beast, or perhaps I can call it unique if that makes it less scary. Basically, the green-eyed squid got its name from the fact that it's got two different sized eyes. One giant eye and one small eye. It's believed the eyes are positioned like that for easy sight of what's below and above. According to researchers, this enables the squid to identify prey. It has wispy fins that adorn its bulbous berry-like covering, which undulates in a mesmerizing way. Tentacles with a peach color twist and straighten underneath the head. Although these different eyes may seem strange, there's a functional explanation for them that has to do with the squid's deep-sea environment. Now, this makes perfect sense. I mean, with all the darkness of this endless abyss, having two unique eyes is a necessity. Number 3. Predatory Tunicate If you've never seen a ghost fish, then today must be your lucky day. From the name, it's pretty clear that finding a predatory tunicate is sort of hard. I mean, unless you have some supernatural abilities. I bet there's no one who can see ghosts. Again, although it's ghost-like, it's kind of visible. Okay, just a little bit. They give it the name because of its transparent color, which makes it unnoticeable. Right along the rocks deep inside the Mariana Trench, it lays patiently, waiting for creatures to fall into its trap. Luckily, this creature only feeds on zooplankton and tiny animals thanks to their 5-inch sizes. Missing the sight of a predatory tunicate is kind of simple. Basically, it's a cylindrical filter-feeding creature with a gelatinous tunic. Because it's long and tall with a hood-shaped aperture at its top, this strange-looking species is frequently compared to jellyfish or Venus flytraps in appearance. What makes them exclusive is their ability to close their so-called mouths quickly whenever a meal is in range. Its mouth is more of a zooplankton trap that thrives deep in the Mariana Trench. Number 4. Green Bomber Worm Although the bomber worm was only recently identified, it's not uncommon. One of the most inventive forms of defense we've ever seen is used by this monster of the deep, deep sea. This worm only uses bombs when danger is present. In the complete blackness of the midnight zone, predators wait in the shadows for their chance to attack prey. A species of little bomber worm is found in the water a few meters above the seafloor, making the Mariana Trench the perfect habitat. Whenever the green bomber worm is exposed in the open, this writhing worm has a sneaky defense mechanism to keep it from becoming a meal for a hungry predator. Just beneath its head, the bomber worm possesses eight bioluminescent fluid-filled sacs. It releases a bomb that explodes with a green glow when disturbed. The bomber worm then quickly flees and paddles to safety as the predator is diverted by this light display. It regenerates its lost explosives while being protected from injury, so it can survive. Number 5. Mariana Snailfish Well, apparently, the Mariana Snailfish seems to be the main predator in some areas of the Mariana Trench. It consumes microscopic crustaceans in a habitat of deep water, with few other larger predators. This species, known as the Mariana snailfish, has a translucent body that can grow to a length of almost 4 inches, a 
and resembles an enlarged tadpole. The crustaceans that the Mariana snailfish eat are common in the deep sea, where many of the specimens of the snailfish that were brought to the surface had full stomachs. They're adorable, nearly pink, approximately twice the length of a cigar, and have flesh that's so transparent you can see their liver from the outside. This fish is also the deepest one ever caught. Additionally, the fish's lack of functioning eyes and their inability to react to the team lander's lights are consistent with the earlier studies. This is probably due to the absence of several important photoreceptor genes in these organisms. There's no need to be able to detect light that they would never see, as they exist in total darkness. Number 6. Deep Sea Chicken Monster There's a swimming sea cucumber in the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench that resembles a beheaded chicken that's also known as the Deep Sea Chicken Monster. Its internal organs are visible inside its reddish, jelly-like, semi-transparent body. Moreover, it emits bioluminescence, which they use in their dark endeavors. The headless chicken monster, like all sea cucumbers, has a barrel-shaped body with a moth opening that's somewhat circular and has tentacles on one end and an anus on the other. Children are often a light pink color, whereas adults might be crimson, dark red, or reddish brown. It reaches a length of 6 to 25 centimeters. Both big invertebrates, such as polychaetes and crustaceans, as well as microorganisms like bacteria and fungi, are consumed by the deep-sea chicken monster. For easy motion, it pushes along the seafloor with the help of its tentacles. It moves away from the seafloor after quickly consuming food by transferring it into its mouth, using its tentacles. Now, this is what I'd call fascinating. They'd make amazing pets, don't you think? Number 7. Alien Basket Stars From afar, the alien basket star may have the appearance of a menacing alien, but this strange species is actually a regular and harmless water mammal. Don't let their looks deceive you. This stunning yet rare creature is found deep in the Mariana Trench. The basket star only has five arms, which branch, branch, and branch once more if you look attentively. When they move, they hypnotize. The branching arms bundle into tiny knots. When they return to the core disc, it primarily eats zooplankton if their limbs are injured or amputated by predators. Basket stars have the freakishly incredible ability to regenerate them again. Number 8. Black Sea Devil Yet another horror was found deep in the Mariana Trench. Not a new one specifically. In fact, stories of the Black Sea Devil have been heard. Many people are as surprised by the fish's origin as they are by its appearance. You'd think that the Black Sea Devil got its name from the deep dwellings of the ocean, but that's not it. The Black Sea Devil is one of the rarest deep-sea fish on this planet because it loves the darkness of the ocean floor. It's always found at 1,900 feet below the sea level. A lighted lure can be seen at the end of the fishing pole that extends from the fish's head. In its deep, gloomy home, the anglerfish uses its light to attract prey. The devils in the Black Sea have stunning expressions, gaping needle-sharp teeth, and glowing skulls. It's unclear whether the illumination follows a pattern or moves constantly. Either way, their victims are always drawn in by their avarice. Just to be safe, beware of some massive tooth-filled jaws, a dark globular body, and that shimmering lure to entice prey. You should also remember that they possess a distensible stomach that can expand enormously to accommodate prey that's roughly the same size as the entire anglerfish. That's one quality about these deep-sea fish that I really appreciate. The most fascinating yet terrifying act is how they get their massive jaws wide open. Why burden oneself with an enormous empty stomach? Just neatly wrap it up and then unfold it when you have anything to put inside. When it comes down to it, these so-called sea monsters are actually rather civilized, but they're not to be messed with. Number 9. Zombie Worms There are certain creatures that resemble tiny plants that live in the deep sea. They lack a mouth, a stomach, and a sense of nausea. They're called zombie worms. Catchy name, right? Basically, they got their name from the fact that they use roots like tissues to bore into and devour their prey. The most shocking aspect of the zombie worm is that it's only three inches long, but it's capable of eating away the hardest parts of a well. I know it's unbelievable. But you know what they say, size doesn't matter. Sometimes, several cases of whales washing up looking all hairy with no explanation as to what killed them have been reported. 
Well, it looks like we've found our culprit. A dangerous one indeed. Number 10. Benthacodon Jellyfish Although the majority of jellyfish are transparent, Benthacodon is an opaque species. The Benthacodon hides the luminescence of the prey it consumes from predators with a crimson covering called the bell. This means that once it's got a hold of you, it's game over. Normally, it floats through the ocean with about 1,500 tentacles. As a bottom feeder, the Benthacodon pendiculata primarily feeds on formative and crustaceans. Until next time, adios.